Hey guys, uh, so yeah, the rumors are true. The news leaked a bit early, uh, but uh, Borderlands, the pre sequel, is a real thing. Uh, and uh, you know, they, they were kind of uh, sly in <laughs> keeping it secret. Uh, but uh, it's, it's being developed by 2K Australia. And uh, basically, Gearbox at this time, you know, like they've, they're seeing a ton of demand for Borderlands 2. People keep buying DLC, people keep playing the game. Uh, but I guess they're, you know, they're not ready to move on to Borderlands 3 yet. Uh, so they, they uh, tapped into 2K Australia to, uh, to make a new game. And it's set between uh, Borderlands 1 and Borderlands 2. And it's basically the story of Handsome Jack and his kind of rise from being a hero into being a villain and why all that happened. The signal jamming Helio security system is coming from that comms facility. Get in there, switch it off, because things are getting really interesting up here, kiddo. Uh, it also takes you to the moon, uh, so there's uh, a lot of new mechanics in there with that. There's uh, like a low gravity thing going on, as you might expect. Uh, there's an uh, oxygen meter that goes along with your shields and your health. And that basically, you have like a... You have to kind of manage between like you know how much oxygen you're using uh, and then it also fuels a jetpack so you can get a lot of air now there's a lot of uh, verticality they're building into the level design and then you can actually uh, do kind of like a butt stomp like slam down on guys uh, the the new characters um, you, you might have already heard of but there's Athena uh, who was from the General Knox DLC uh, she's kind of like the Captain America she has a shield that absorbs damage and then you can throw it back uh, and uh, one of the skill trees they showed, uh, you eventually can like throw it to where it like bounces off multiple targets. Uh, Wilhelm, who was this big robot boss in Borderlands 2, is one of the characters, but he's actually not a robot. He's a, like, this human guy with a beard, but as you go through his upgrade path, apparently he just starts tacking on more and more cybernetic parts. Uh, so I'm curious about how that's going to work, and uh, it'll be interesting to see if, you know, that actually evolution happens uh, visually and physically on screen uh, Claptrap is actually a playable character uh, and they were talking about how it's kind of interesting and they're like working through some things with having him being at like a much lower fixed perspective than the rest of the characters uh, they didn't really show him in action uh, we saw him running around a little bit as a, another character but we didn't get to really see him play as see them play as him and then uh, Nisha, the lawbringer, who was the sheriff in Lynchwood, she's the other, she's the fourth character, but they didn't show her at all, really. Um, they do say that the moon, uh, it's not going to be, you know, as static as you might think. That there are, uh, like Pandora, there are also all of these different environments on the moon. It sounds like you actually may go to Pandora in the last uh, stages of the game, uh, but uh, but yeah, so it it. You know, at, at first it might feel like a pretty simple thing, but uh, I think that there's there's definitely going to be more to it if they're going to, hopefully, you know, they're going to build a whole game around it. Uh, another thing, uh, they've got uh, lasers, uh, laser weaponry now, so they, they have beam lasers and then kind of like your uh, Star Wars style, uh, uh, what are they called, but the pistol type, type things that just shoot out quick little bursts. But one thing that I thought was kind of funny is that they were talking about... Uh, the Gearbox guys had always wanted to have an ice weapon, and uh, for, I guess, whatever internal debates, uh, that it never actually became a real reality. And then these 2K, uh, 2K Australia team, you know, they're working essentially independently. They're designing the game, on, you know, on their own and then sending it to Gearbox for feedback. Uh, and they just went ahead and, and put it, put a nice uh, effect in the game, and it actually looks pretty cool where, like, you freeze a guy and then he shatters, and then because you're on the moon, it, like... Uh, moves out uh, kind of slowly, low grav style. Uh, the game is actually only going to be on last gen and PC. It's running on the Borderlands 2 engine. So it's just Xbox 360, PS3, and PC. Uh, and the reason they say they're doing that is because essentially Borderlands 2 has sold more copies than there are next gen consoles. And they also, you know, say that, you know, most people that have next gen consoles also still have. Uh, you know, their old systems as well. So uh, their justification is is that they're they're going where their audience is uh, and, and they're more or less doing this as, you know, for the fans. 2K Australia is, you know, basically taking an attitude of, like, you know, they're fans of the game and, and they're designing 
things from from their perspective and what they want to do uh you know with just limited feedback from gearbox um but yeah it is a little odd and disappointing uh that it's not a a it's not on new consoles but i i i kind of get their reasoning i just i hope that they don't you know uh they don't just go around and and six months later put out the the ps4 and xbox one versions um, I am curious to see kind of more of Handsome Jack and see kind of the evolution of that character and how well that works. I'm definitely interested in, uh, you know, the, the kind of, they showed kind of platforming stuff with the jetpacks and more, you know, hidden areas and level design stuff. Uh, but uh, overall, you know, I, I mean, I'm kind of keeping optimistic on it. I'm at this point, personally, because I've played a lot of Borderlands 2 DLC, I'm a little burnt out on the franchise. Uh, but, you know, maybe by the time it comes out, it won't be, uh, you know, it won't be so, uh, so bad. It will be more fresh to me. Uh, but it's coming out, uh, this fall. And, uh, if you have any questions, just, uh, jump in the comments and let me know. Thanks.